One. Books. So, um, it's getting towards the end of the year, and I've kind of recommended this a few times, but I'm reminded daily, right? No pun intended, just how great this book is. Um, it's called The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday. Um, and it's uh, 366 Meditations on Wisdom, Perseverance, and the Art of Living, essentially, um, each day there's a there's a day right marked on there on each so each page has a day in the year that you can kind of go to a corresponding day and it has a, a stoic um, philosophy based quote uh, the quote of the, the philosophy of stoicism exudes the idea that you should be able to withstand all the you know bullets all the stones that get thrown at you in life and kind of m- maintain a kind of even kill approach to most things right so you're never as good as they say you're never as bad as they say sort of um idea of philosophy um so essentially each day you're meant to read one piece of these little, a little nugget of a, a little nugget of philosophy based on uh, a little nugget of stoicism philosophy right or the philosophy of stoicism and then the paragraph or a bit underneath the, the quote itself taken from you know the various um influential stoic philosophers like Epictetus and Seneca and Marcus Aurelius is a little abbreviation or an expounding of that quote from Ryan Holiday who's kind of one of my favorite authors to date now he's got um a loads of books out there that you should kind of check out the most recent that I'm just about finished reading now is called Conspiracy which is a great book as so I've got it on audio book at the moment now um Conspiracy kind of details the whole um Hulk Hogan v Gorka case that took place maybe I think a couple of years ago where Hulk Hogan got a huge payout from Google because they decided to publish uh, a secret sex tape that was made without his knowledge and that kind of you know it's kind of the battle of you know when um, Gork was around telling people secrets and in the name of free press and um, Hulk Hogan being so he was, was arguing of, about um, the merits or the legality of having his private life be pri- remain private so it's a really amazing book that kind of details that kind of real cas- cataclysmic tick cosmoclismatic however you pronounce that word uh battle of kind of ideologies for the most part but it's very interesting so i recommend you check out some of ryan holiday's books but the daily stoic is flipping flipping amazing especially towards the end of the year when you've kind of i've kind of done away with giving myself like set goals right i've been trying to kind of maintain a bit, a bit more of a balanced diet um you know maintain my fitness um and just be more of a practitioner than a dreamer because that's something that used to kind of always affect me in the past you know sometimes just having dreams or having aspirations it kind of always felt like you were doing things right just because you had them in your head you felt like you were achieving something but you weren't really um so i've kind of did away with the whole goal setting list because the fact that i was writing down goals gave me a false sense of achievement kind of made me feel like i was doing something that wasn't so I thought, you know what, let me just start doing the things I already know I should be doing anyway. So, you know, that was playing out more regularly. That was trying to write more regularly. That was um, trying to be more creative-minded more regularly. Do you know what I mean? Like trying to have an output with my stuff. Uh, trying to, you know, generate income that's outside of my job in terms of selling stuff online or whatever it may be. The stuff that I'm meant to be, I know I should be doing, I was trying to do it more regularly in order to kind of, you know, make myself to kind of make the year more worthwhile but sometimes towards the end of the year even if you are somebody that's you know quite headstrong as i am you do start to reflect and think oh did i waste a year did i not do the things i was meant to be doing was i kind of sleepwalking was i not going as hard as i should go and the uh, daily stoic has been a really good and constant reminder you know to kind of keep my eye on the prize to trust the process and just to kind of remain present and just know that you know the the bits and pieces that i've kind of got from this book I've been trying to kind of meditate on them each day that I read them and trying to enact them or action them throughout the day, right? Trying to take something of them. Like, for instance, the quote for today, which I thought was very apt, was... Uh, so the 16th was... The 16th? No, not 16th, sorry. Go backwards. Uh, no, so, so for the quote for November 14th was, um, you choose the outcome. He was sent to prison, the quote says, he was sent to prison, but the observation he has suffered evil is an addition coming from you, Epicetus writes. Uh, This is a classic Stoic thinking. As you've gathered by now, an event itself is objective. How will you describe it? That is what is unfair or is as a great calamity or that they did it on purpose is on us. Malcolm X, then Malcolm Little, went into prison as a criminal, but he left as an educated, religious and a motivated man who would help... 
in the struggle for civil rights? Did he suffer an evil or did he choose to make his experience a positive one? Acceptance isn't passive. It's the first step in an active process towards self-improvement. So I've I've kind of always kind of led by this you know, mantra anyway, but it's always good to have, have it reminded um, to you on a daily basis, these sort of like little nuggets of philosophy that kind of can keep you grounded, you know, and like let you understand, okay, cool. I can't choose what happens to me, but I can choose how I react to it again and again. I can't choose what happens to me, I can choose how I can react to it. I can't choose what happens to me, I can choose how I react to it. And then you just, you know, it's a little thing you just keep, in the back of your head and it allows you to kind of be grounded so again it's coming to the end of the year so you know i've got this bit left until it's finished this year and i'm i'm really glad i got it um an amazing book a real eye opener i've got this at the beginning of the year as well which is interesting which is funny um i tried to buy it and i've kind of read through it every single day since then i've kind of taken it everywhere it's really battered as you can see and yeah i recommend you check it out so the daily stoic by ryan holiday as i said i, I just finished re- reading conspiracy that's really one of really really good book too um he's got obstacles away that, I've, that i smashed through that's amazing check that out too but yeah ryan holiday very great author 